So the session that I moderated, which was looking at new adjuvant therapy and then prediction of the response to the new adjuvant therapy as to how to tailor adjuvant therapy was actually really exciting. We looked at ER positive disease, HER2 positive disease, and triple negative disease. In the triple negative landscape, the use of immunotherapy has been very important because this has allowed us to have more patients achieve a pathologic complete response. But for the patients that do not achieve a pathologic complete response, then adjuvant therapy with chemotherapy therapy and potentially other targeted therapies is very important. For her 2 positive uh, uh, breast cancers, we have the results from the Catherine trial suggesting that in patients who do not achieve a pathologic complete response, the use of TDM1 is beneficial. Now there's trials looking at TDXD, decatinib, as well as immunotherapy in that setting to help to hopefully improve outcomes even more. In your positive disease, things are a little trickier because we don't have any post-treatment um, standard of care therapy for patients whose tumors do not respond well to endocrine therapy. But we have data suggesting that if we give endocrine therapy as new adjuvant therapy, we can decipher which tumors are endocrine sensitive and endocrine resistant. And then post adjuvant therapy, post new adjuvant therapy, we could potentially give other targeted treatments to help improve patient outcomes.